when bands talk to bands, everyone just compliments everyone. You know, everyone says, hey, man, I love your band, etc. It's pretty difficult to tell when someone is being sincere. You know, like not, not in like a bad way or anything, but it just happens. And, and for instance, if I was a massive fan of a musician or a band, the very last thing I would say upon meeting them is, I'm a massive fan of your band. I just, I just <laughs> yeah. feel like a complete dick. Yeah, we, we generally try and um, play it down. Like, you know, we, we try and... We're, we're one of those people that try to, tries to go the opposite way. Like, oh, hey, you guys are all right. <laughs> <laughs> Without sounding kind of jaded, I think we're kind of accustomed to playing on the same festival bills as bands that we grew up listening to. I mean, I could list off a bunch of bands that we played on the same festivals that each time I've been completely blown away by the fact that we're... You know, watching side of watching Porter's head side of stage. What what do you say to these people? They're, they're, we know like, we know what it's like being a touring musician enough to know that they're just humans that sit in their studio and nerd out. Yeah, when we first met Wayne Coyne, I was all starstruck, and now we've hung around with him enough to realise he's just a loony. He's just like an our old American loony uncle. <laughs> old Wayne <laughs> <laughs> joking we're all we're always sort of doing different things uh, not necessarily Tame Impala at all so when we're home we usually take that time to dive straight back into whatever else we're doing we're all kind of the best of friends but touring I kind of you know I get enough of these guys that I don't necessarily feel the need to hang out with them or speak to them every single day when we're not touring yeah the feeling's <laughs> mutual Dom yeah, no, it's true. Kev's right. We're, we're actually all hanging out. Like, we just don't yeah. tell Dom. 